guys, Nick Lessigore, Exit 12 Brewery, in the house. Uh, Brandon isn't here tonight, but fortunately I am. And uh, tonight I'm going to be showing you guys our Apple Cinnamon Brown Ale. Uh, it is right behind me. Which way? Right there. <laughs> uh, we are going to be, I'm going to be kegging it. And uh, we're going to let it sit for a couple of weeks and then uh, eventually try it out. But tonight... Uh, we're going to keg it. I actually, um, Brandon and I, conditioned it on four and a quarter pounds of three different types of apples. And I'll put that in the description. And two cinnamon sticks. Uh, we're also going to be taking a gravity reading to see what it's out at. Uh, it actually finished uh, in primary at 009. So uh, and it's going to end up being right around 6%. So we're pretty happy about that. And as a bonus, I'm going to be doing a little bit of a beer review. Uh, Mike Dean from the Dean's List. He sent me one of his Saisons. Uh, I purposely didn't ask him what was in it, so uh, I wanted to kind of get my own tasting notes from it and see what comes of it. So let's check it out. When I opened it, it had a nice pop to it. So it's definitely carved. And I know Mike uh, kegs. I know he bottles off of his keg with the Blickman beer gun, I think. All right, let's check this bad boy out. Wow, look at that. Golden. I think it's nice and golden. Uh, really nice carbonation, about a half finger head. Really impressed with the look, Mike. It's got about a uh, little bit lighter than a straw color. Or a little bit darker, rather. Let's, uh, let's get a smell on this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's a Saison, all right. Oh boy, peppery, definitely get a little bit of floral, orange rind. Oh man, that's really nice. That's like a amped up blue moon almost. Wow, this is really nice, Mike. I'm pulling out more of the floral aroma for sure. what kind of yeast he used. We did a uh, Saison and used the French the French Saison 3711 and it uh, came out really nice but it was really yeasty and it smells like this one's a, a little bit on the yeasty side which uh, I, I don't mind at all. It definitely smells like just a classic Saison so I'm thinking I mean maybe he puts some type of rosebud or something in the in secondary to get some some sort of flowery flavor. All right, let's uh, let's check this thing out. Cheers, thanks, Mike. Oh boy, whoa! <laughs> oh man, wow, that is the uh, that yeast hits you right in the face. I mean, it is really yeasty. Uh, it's got that really farmhousey Belgian saisony. Uh, taste to it, you know. It's definitely got the orange rind on it. Um, really, it's nice and sweet. Wow, it's got a dryness to it. As sweet as it is, I don't know if he put sugar in the boil or maybe, maybe in in primary, but it's got this really high sweetness in it really finishes finishes off really dry but the yeasty flavor really comes through in a way it, it kind of overpowers things a little bit but it kind of drowns out some of that orange rind a little bit uh, some of the true like belgian saison characteristics but this is a wonderful beer this is well done mike wow I mean, with that said, the mouthfeel on it is world class. I mean, this is really coats the mouth pretty well. I mean, uh, this would be perfect. I mean, here in New England right now, it is uh, 55 degrees, which is actually pretty warm for fall. But um, this would be perfect, like sitting by the fire after mowing the lawn or something, you know, in, in late June, early July. <laughs> this is really nice. Let me see if I can pull anything else out of it. Oh, wow. 
Yeah, I'm very interested to see what what yeast he used because it really gives a lot of character to the beer. Um, really kind of takes over some flavors in the beer. But like I said, in a good way. I mean, I think this is a phenomenal beer. If I had to choose between this and his version of the dual grain triple play, I'm an IPA guy. I really like saisons as well. There probably isn't a style of beer I don't I don't like, <laughs> but I would probably go for the dual grain triple play that he, that he brewed. Yeah, it makes sense that you get the yeast character uh, not only in the smell but in the taste as well. And uh, as you can see, it's a really really nice golden color. Um, I'm going to sit back, I'm going to enjoy this for a little bit, uh, and I'm going to keg the apple brown, so uh, let's get into it. Cheers. Looks like we're going to carve this up. Sitting right now at about four, five maybe. Let's turn it up a little bit. Close to eight. That's about where I want to be. Time to put this baby in the kegerator. So uh, we were shooting for probably right around uh, 0, 1, 2 for a finishing gravity. Um, it ended up going down as far as 0, 0, 9. And uh, as we're reading it now, the apples in secondary may have added a tiny touch of alcohol to it. Or maybe it just wasn't done, um, you know, uh, maybe it just wasn't done fermenting out. But it went down to 0, 0, 7. This is the finished product here. Beautiful color, we're really happy with it. As you can see, on some level, the clarity. You can see the uh, hydrometer there. We used two, I think I used two teaspoons of Irish moss, so we'll see how that turns out. That was kind of an experiment for us. Um, overall, I think the beer, smelling it, it's got the apple sweetness. And if you don't like cinnamon, you are not gonna like this beer. <laughs> I was dumping out the apples and the cinnamon residue from the uh, bag that we had it in and I was dumping it out in the garbage and boy that cinnamon comes through. Uh, it comes through real nice. We added two sticks of cinnamon so it makes sense. Uh, but overall we're really excited to try the beer. Should be ready right around Thanksgiving and Brandon and I will be doing a review then. Um, I'm going to go lay down on the couch, finish off my night with this uh, nice Saison from Mike Dean. Mike, thanks again, brother, I appreciate it. And uh, until next time, cheers everyone. Happy Homebrew Wednesday. <laughs>